Good morning. <laughs> we are creating our own life. You know, I see so many people who are putting their life on hold for one thing or another, waiting, waiting for something to happen before they move forward. You know, waiting for an answer, waiting for an approval, waiting for someone else to give them permission, waiting for Christmas to be over. You know, we create it. If we want something to happen, it's up to us to act as if and to move forward in confidence, knowing that whatever we're waiting for is going to happen. You know, while ever we wait, we keep our life waiting. We put everything on hold. So, you know, it really is about saying, you know, this, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to do and start doing it. You know, I see it over and over and over again and it's easy done. Gosh, I probably still do it, but not as much as I used to. I know I used to wait for all sorts of things, mostly for permission because I didn't trust and believe in myself. I didn't trust and believe in the laws of the universe. If someone with authority in my world told me to go ahead and do it, that it was okay, that it would work, then I'd do it. So if you need authority, if you need someone to tell you to, to do it, just to do it, let that be me, do it. Do what your heart is calling you to do. You know, grab that life that you want now and don't settle for anything less. You know, get into the feeling of what you want. And as I said, act as if. Our energy creates what's coming. If we're in the energy of waiting, we're creating more waiting. We've got to shift our butts. We've got to shift our mind. We've got to shift our emotions. We've really got to just get doing get acting, get being, and not give up on the world that we want. Hello Kirsten, hello Susan. We've really just got to care so much about what we're thinking and feeling that the universe has to submit. And the universe is a willing player. It wants to give us everything we want. And it is constantly, we're always creating. That's what people don't get. You know, I haven't worked out how to create. We're always creating. It's our, um, it's our thoughts and our feelings every single day that are creating. Only if we're focusing what, on what is and what was and what could be and in fear, that's what we're creating more of. So we've really got to be determined in our focus to choose where we want to go and make that our primary you know focus give it our our full attention allow ourselves to feel good give ourselves permission and to think in ways that are going to lead us forward not in woe is me or i can't do it or i don't know the answers but to actually hello diana to actually just you know decide what we want and go for it to not give up you know, and I was someone that used to sit around and wait for the universe to deliver. You know, I'd say the universe knows what I want. It's going to deliver. And I sat and I sat and I sat, you know, not literally sitting, you know, obviously, but it wasn't until I started my online business and I realized what the world had to offer that I really put the laws of the universe into action big time. Yes, the universe does know what we want, but while ever we're in the waiting mode and waiting for the universe to deliver, it's going to keep giving us more waiting. So it really is time to stretch ourselves and to go for it. You know, December is a time when there's a lot of fear coming up for a lot of people. You know, not only the planetary energy, hello Julie, hello Paula, not just the planetary energy at the moment, but you know, there's extra fears, people who are struggling, people who, you know, have fears around Christmas, not having the family, you know, to be surrounded by or not having the money to, you know, even buy gifts for their kids. You know, there's so much pressure on us all. Hello, Sue, around Christmas. But it's about letting go of all of that fear and saying, you know, I am the creator of me and I determine what my life is going to be like. And this is what I want. And this is what I'm going to have. 
and get into the feeling now of having it and maintain that focus towards it. Because if we can feel good and maintain some focus, you know, even if it's not all day, every day, but if you can just remind yourself, you know, every time you take a break through the day, remind yourself what's important to you. You know, with your cup of coffee, think about where you're headed and what you want and feel good. Choose to feel good because feeling good is the energy that creates and you can't feel good while you're focusing in fear. Hello Roxanne. So really, 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 you know, be aware of what you're thinking and what you're saying and shift out of the waiting game. Shift into what can I do now? How can I bring this dream alive? And you will be surprised at the answers that come your way, you know, and the opportunities that are presented. You know, this online business, it's, it's just been an absolute gift for me. You know, it's made me really look at where I was holding myself back and the areas of myself that, you know, I'd, I'd put defences around. And, you know, there's so much mindset and personal growth involved in the training in this business. The community is completely conscious and, you know, it's one of the best parts of the business as far as I'm concerned. I just love the community. I love the support and the like-minded souls who are urging each other into focus and into achieving, you know, and because it's automatic, there's no selling, there's no hustling. You know, it's such an easy, easy business and has such wonderful commissions. So if you'd like to know more about the business, then comment yes below. Um, there's a live webinar happening tomorrow evening, Australia time. Um, if you register for it, you will get all the details and also um, you'll be sent a replay of it. You know, what have you got to lose? If you're after something new in your life, extra money, extra time, something you can do alongside of another business. If you want to stay home with your kids, you know, if you want to travel, whatever it be, you know, what a great way to do it, you know, to have a company that's so conscious and to be able to make a good living from it as well. Anyway, I've raved on long enough. Have a beautiful day to you all. Be aware of your thoughts. Choose where you want to go and, and make your thinking deliberate. Make, make feeling happy your highest priority. So have a beautiful day. Bye for now.